what is great in the state. It is the Radio Rockstar G Money, and you are now tuned in to the very first episode of Super Fire. All right, right now we have Jay Malachi and Andrew Everett in the ring. This is a historic event because Firestar Pro Wrestling, they broke their roster up into two brands, Star Power and Super Fire. And right now we are watching Jay Malachi get it on with Andrew Everett. Andrew Everett well-traveled. Oh, nice shoulder block. Push right back into Jay Malachi. Goes down, but kips right back up. Here comes Andrew Everett. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful head scissor right there. And then the arm drag takes him down. So like I was saying, Andrew Everett is well-traveled. He's wrestled with Impact. He's wrestled with Pro Wrestling Gorilla. He's wrestled all over the world. Japan, all that, and now he says he wants to give back by coming back to North Carolina and wrestling some of the homegrown talent from his state. Guys like Jay Malachi, straight out of Burlington, North Carolina is Andrew Everett. Then we got the young OG, Jay Malachi, with a beautiful forearm strike right there. And they, you know, formerly of the wrestling prodigies with Jackson Drake, they were making waves all over the Carolinas. Oh, beautiful drop kick by Andrew Everett right to the face. And then another arm drag onto Jay Malachi. Getting back to what I said, Jay Malachi and Jackson Drake, the wrestling prodigies, won the Firestar Pro Wrestling Tag Team Championship. They held it for a while. And then after they lost it, oh, big knee to the gut. Jay Malachi turned on his partner, Jackson Drake, they feuded for a while, and then, right at the height of their feud, Firestar made the huge decision to split their roster up into two brands. So now, the Tupac of his generation, Jay Malachi, is looking to make a name for himself by himself. And that was an old springboard back elbow by Andrew Everett, and Jay Malachi rolls out of the ring. This is not the place you want to be if you are Jay Malachi because here comes Andrew Everett. But no, Jay Malachi ducks. He thinks he, oh, thought he outsmarted Andrew Everett when he catches him on boot to the face. Here comes Andrew Everett. No, Jay Malachi pulls him down right off, right off the apron. And there's ooh, big punch kick by Jay Malachi. So he knows that move. I think we all know that move. You know, once again, the very first episode of Super Fire. Oh my goodness. Slams his head into the apron. You know, we tell you all the time, the apron is the hardest part of the ring. Jay Malachi in full control of this match right now. Andrew Everett looking to fight back. Double axe handle to the back. Now he's got him in the corner. And the ref has got to get in there. The ref has got to get in there. You got to be a little bit more aggressive because Jay Malachi is not going to listen. He is a rebel. And there he is. Uh oh, Lord. There you go. Taking the shirt off. He's ready to go. Oh, but he eats a boot from Andrew Everett. He jumps in the middle rope, but no. Oh. Jay Malachi brings his foot off. Oh my goodness, beautiful. Flying spinning elbow, and then the, another punt kick to the back of Andrew Everett, going for the cover. Only gets the two count. This would be a huge match for Jay Malachi to win, especially on the very first episode of Superfire to beat a well-traveled opponent like Andrew Everett. One of the men making waves from the Carolinas all over the world, putting the Carolinas on the map. Oh my goodness. Right hands by Andrew Everett. And there goes Jay Malachi, tossing Andrew Everett out of the ring so he could regather himself. Coming back for him. Everett fighting back. And there's a, nope. Oh. Kick to the sternum. Jay Malachi's got the hair of Andrew Everett, though, no, but he blocks it. Oh, he eats the turnbuckle. Andrew Everett going up top. 
Spring boy drop kick. Takes him down. Takes down Jay Malachi. Both men are on the ground. The referee looking to administer the count. But they, they seem to be moving, so he's not even going to. Jay Malachi, forearm strike. Andrew Everett, big kick to the midsection. Oh, back elbow caught. Jay Malachi slipping. Here comes Jay Malachi again. This time, two feet. And catches a left-handed clothesline. Malachi throws the line, misses, and eats another running forearm strike from Andrew Everett. Andrew Everett has got the crowd behind him. He is ready to go. Goes to the corner. Malachi rolls out. Andrew Everett to the, oh, my goodness. Joe goes to the top rope with the amazing twisting center. Andrew Everett. He's got that look on his face. He leaves the crowd behind him. He's about to pull off something big. Uh-oh. He's got the net going for the good. Oh, no! Jay Malachi pulls him into the, into the turnbuckle. Oh, kind of roll into a blue thunder slam. One, two. Is that going to do it? No, that is not it. Andrew Everett kicks out. That was about 2.787666 seconds. Jay, Ma Jay Malachi calling for the Malakutter, but no, Andrew Everett hits the waist lock. Malachi, oh, another big form strike by Jay Malachi. Oh, and he gets it returned by Andrew Everett. And there's another form strike. I know those have to hurt. Oh my goodness, I think Andrew Everett slapped literally the taste out of Jay Malachi's mouth on that right hand. Malachi's still on his feet. Oh, what? he faked the punch and slapped him back. That is brash. That's the attitude of the, oh, there's the goozle again. He's got him by the neck. Blocks it, catches him under the chin, throws one, throws another, ducks two, headbutt, and something definitely flew out of his mouth that time. Andrew Everett going, but no, Jay Malachi catches him at the rope with the forearm, and then Andrew Everett catches him at the rope with the enziguri. Andrew Everett now, oh! Did you see the bounce on Jay Malachi when he jumped up with a jumping reversing elbow? He says it's over, but nope. Everett is back, no! Moonsault misses, and oh my God, what a beautiful spinning kick by Jay Malachi. Jay Malachi going for, oh! Tried to whip him off, but caught another enziguri, and Andrew Everett, oh, with the German suplex into a bridge, going for the, no! Almost missed, almost had the three count. Andrew Everett. He's realizing that Jay Malachi is giving everything that he has. My goodness. Andrew Everett's been around so long. He made his FSPW debut as a Chiva kid in the first ever Wrestle Revival in 2013. He's been around. He's been doing this for a while. And, oh, he went for the note. Thought he had chokeslam. No. Jay Malachi with a reversal into a roll-up. No. Oh, my God. Jumping bicycle knee. I told you that man has bounced. Oh, the Kamagoye by Jay Malachi. He said, oh. Now, that was a punt kick. Going for the cover. One, two. No. Oh, man. Randy Orton and Pat McAfee will be proud of that punt kick. Absolutely. But Andrew Everett still fighting. It's apparently going to take more than that. You got to do more. Blocks the kick. Going for the goozle again. It's got the. Oh my gosh! Falling choke slam by Andrew Everett for the. Th no, not not for the three. Not for the three. So close. 
so close. Andrew Everett almost made history by being the first person to win a match on Super Fire. But this one is still going, folks. Andrew Everett sizing up Jay Malachi. Oh, catches the boot. Oh, right onto his foot. And strikes by Jay Malachi, throws it to the second turnbuckle. And then another spin kick to the back. Here comes Jay Malachi. Springboard, oh my God, springboard clothesline, amazingly beautiful. One, two, is this gonna, do? no! That is not gonna do it. The Tupac of his generation looks so frustrated right now. Jay Malachi is ready to put this to an end. He's looking to take Super Fire by storm. He's looking to take the wrestling world by storm. And he's going to do it his way. He says it starts with Andrew Everett. Rushing to the corner. Oh, man. Big Aluba kick in the corner. Sends Andrew Everett down to the first rope. I think the rope, the rope literally caught him and kept him from falling out the ring. And there's another one. There's another Haluva kick. He said this is his brand, he runs this. That is his goal, to run Super Fire. Wait, oh my goodness. Spiking Hurricane Rada by Andrew Everett for the, no, not the victory. So close, so close is Andrew Everett. My goodness. Man, this is just the first episode of Super Flyer, and I'm almost out of breath already. It's just the first match. Is this a sign of things to come? I believe this is what you can expect on every episode of Super Flyer. Here comes Andrew Everett going to the top again. Springboard. No! Oh! He a low blow kick. A low blow kick by Jay Malachi, and he is instantly disqualified. Wow, that was as blatant as blatant gets. Holy crap. He may have kicked Andrew Everett's genitals up into his stomach on that one. Wow. Jay Malachi, look, he didn't win the match, but he made a statement. Time for more action on Superfire. We've got Jack versus David Parrish in the second match here on Superfire. These guys know each other so well. They were best friends growing up in Winston-Salem. They both trained at the AML Training Center. Like I said, they were best friends, but as things happen, they just happened to run into two different crowds. Oh, Jack, Jack almost crushed the chest of David Perry. Jack is a member of the back alley. David Parrish, he's not with the ocean now. Jack has been out here for a while. This is David Parrish's first, this is debut match. Debut match is on Superfly. That's right. Imagine having your first match on a show like this. There's another lock up. Jack, oh, David Parrish cartwheels out of the waist lock. Nice. Very nice maneuver. David Parrish is no slouch. It may be his first match, but he knows exactly what he's doing in the ring. Oh my goodness, it looks like he's got some amateur wrestling experience. From the way he took down Jack. Jack does the same with that reversal. Jack, oh my gosh, alligator roll. Taking him down. And there's a reversal by David Parrish. So smooth with it. This is very technical. Two former best friends going at it in the middle of the ring. I want to say that this is going to be a 
fair fight the whole time, but I, I just have this feeling that that Jack just might switch up. When I say he will, I just have this feeling. Turns him around. Into a, oh! To a belly to belly suplex by Jack. Showing that, that strength advantage. Oh! Ducks under. Ducks over actually and slides into a cover. Jack is out of the ring. And he's going to have a meeting with the back alley to talk about what just happened. He had the advantage and then he didn't have the advantage. And David Paris, he's got a look on his face like, like he's about to try something. And then he is. Suicide dives. Tope Suicida by David Parrish onto the entire back alley. That's how you make a name for yourself. High risk, high reward. The numbers game is not in effect right now. And then he's going, oh, went for another one, but Jack caught him with the forearm. And now he's going to work on the back of David Parrish. That's Jack. Y'all watch out for these guys, man. For lack of a better phrase, the back alley are not a group of guys that you want to meet in the back alley. And there's a reason for that. They play by back alley rules. And if you didn't know what that is, that means there's no rules. Oh my gosh, stomps in the corner. And then a foot choke by Jack. That's up by the count of four. Right back at it. Right back on the attack. Grab the hair. David Parrish. Uh -oh. oh, not a chop. Oh, what a chop by Jack. Oh, my gosh. That's going to leave a handprint up until March. And then pushes it down. Like, see, that's, this is what I'm talking about. Unnecessary. Unnecessary. The Jack is at it. He's in full control. Choking again. In definitely full control of this match. In the back alley, they look very pleased with the progress. Oh my gosh, working on that back again. And now, pull him into a camel clutch. Oh no! Camel clutch in the middle of the ring. And he's putting the fingers into the mouth of David Parrish. He's got about four or five fingers in the mouth of David Parrish. Oh, look at the torque on his back. David Parrish in an immense amount of pain, but he gets up. He lets him up and stomp him on his back and puts him right back into the move. Oh my goodness. This is just pure aggression by Jack. Pure aggression. David Parrish looking to fight his way out. Looking to fight his way out. He's got his arms free. But no. Jack. Oh! Jack went for the hip drop. David Ferris turned it over and put his knee up. And that, that was kind of a low blow, but not, but not really. I guess it's legal because the, the match is still going. But David Parrish fighting back. Oh my gosh, what a kick by Jack. Sends David Perez straight to the ground. Instantly. And oh my God, there's a chop to the chest. He's holding his left arm, chopping him in the chest. Look, look at how, how much bigger Jack is than, than David Parrish. Like he just wants to inflict pain. And he's biting him. The ref does not see Do you, ref, he's biting him. He's biting his fingers. David Parrish in an immense amount of pain. He's just literally biting him. He's been biting him for like 10 seconds. Ref, what are you doing? I cannot imagine the pain David Parrish is in. Jack is a cannibal. He had a taste for human flesh, and there is a, oh my goodness. What a nice suplex. Going for, who went for the one foot cover? Oh my goodness, talk about arrogance. Jack is in full control right now. 
I, I kind of don't blame him. He's got the back alley at his side. He's, he's just been manhandling David Parrish. Oh, no. Oh, no. The Shiro Nye by David Parrish. Momentum has just swung in the favor of David Parrish. And there's a clothesline. Doesn't take him down. He's going again. Oh. Jumping clothesline takes it down to a knee, but he's back up on two feet. And now ducks a line and oh! Springboard spinning clothesline by David Parrish. Jack is down. He is reeling. I don't think he knows where he's at right now. David Parrish looks like he's going up top. He's taking quite a while. He needs to hurry up. The back alley is outside of the ring. Anything could happen. He's going up. Out, look. There goes. There goes this. Oh, no. Ref distracted by one of the members. And then the other member has pulled his foot down. And now here comes Jack. Going up top. Grabbing David Parrish. Looks like we're going to see a superplex. Oh, no. Oh, there it is. But no. And then he rolls through on the superplex. He rolls through. And now Jack going for the stalling. Stalling. Oh! And the two suplexes back to back. One, two. Oh, I thought that was it. I just knew that was it. I thought it was academic at that point. I just knew it was. David Parrish, the heart of a champion. He is not done yet. He is not done. He's looking at his former friend. But what he sees is not a former friend. Oh, the slap by Jack. Just takes down David Perry. That is not your friend. Oh, my God. Big time slam. And I think that's going to do it. One, two, three. And that is it. Jack defeats David Parrish on the first episode of Super Fire. Wow. With the back alley in tow. And they look very pleased with what they just saw. And there they are. Back alley is in full effect. Right here on Super Fire. Oh, oh my goodness. And they're not a stomp it away. There's no need for this. Come on, guys. He already lost the match. There's, there's no point in this. You already beat him. There's no point in this. I'm so glad somebody, somebody needs to get out here. Somebody needs to get out here because this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Come on now. It's over. The match is over. Back alley still relentlessly stomping. Here comes security. Here comes security. Thanks for watching this episode of Super Fire. Next week, expect to see the Firestar Heavyweight Champion TDT